In this video, I will provide the example for seemingly unrelated regressions or also known as SUR. Before you watch this, please make sure that you have watched my other video introducing and explaining the SUR models. So this is the example that we would uh, consider. We have data from the high school and beyond study and we want to know how math and reading scores are influenced by several factors. And here we would have two equations. The dependent variable for the first one would be math score and for the second one reading score. And independent variables for equation one would be whether or not a person is female, the type of program that uh, they've attended, and their science score. And the independent variables for equation two would be female and social sciences score. So um, I tried purposefully to include different types of independent variables because if you have them the same, then um, you would have the same results as the OLS model. So here are the results that we get. And here are the dependent variables, math score and reading score. So this is a separate regression. This is a separate regression. And this is the two equations estimated together as an SUR model. And here again are, are the independent variables and I don't include all of them in both equations. So I've included some in one of the equations and others in, in the other equation on, on purpose. So how would we interpret this coefficients? For example, let's say if a person has a one unit of higher science score right here, then we would have 0.89 units higher math score using the OLS model or 0.53 units higher score using the SUR model. So this is the, the general way to describe these only that this model takes into consideration the cross-equation correlation between the two. And you can see that these results that we have here for the SUR model are a little bit different by, from the OLS model, but, but not by a lot. And that could or might not be the case depending on the problem that you're considering. Some other things that we have done is to look at the correlation between the errors in the two equation, which is positive, 18 uh, and it's uh, it's uh, positive but not particularly strong and the next thing that we can do is use the Bruce Pagan test for the error independence which shows that chi-square test statistic of 6.8 with a p-value of less than 0.05 which means that there's statistically significant correlation in the errors and therefore we're justified in using the SUR models. Uh, another thing that we can do is to test for the equality of the female coefficients in uh, these two regressions that we have here. And notice that they're not uh, significantly different from zero. And using the um, software we tested that and it turns out that they are not significantly different from each other so therefore we can impose a cross equation restriction that these coefficients are equal to each other and re-estimate the SUR model and in this case we would get a little bit different results and that is typically done when you have demand systems and you want to uh, restrict those coefficients to be the same across equations so that's all I had for SUR models. Thanks for joining me. And now let's take a look at how to do these models with different software.